This is Alper Boskurt and I am an assistant professor at North Carolina State University. I direct the Integrated Bionic Microsystems Laboratory here at NC State. In short, we call it iBionics Lab. One of the things that we try to do is building insect biobots or bionic robots, if you will, where we try to remove control insects for different applications such as environmental monitoring or searching people after natural disasters like earthquakes. We basically use math and sciences to model our systems. Without our models, we are totally blind. We try to establish a connection with our electrical systems and the biological electrical systems of the insects, the natural electrical systems, which is the, natural, uh, the uh, neural system of the insect. And uh, we try to send some pulses to the insect. And when we are doing this, when we are designing our pulses, we use mathematical functions to make them similar to action potentials, which is basically the natural uh, pulses, electrical pulses in the insect's body generated by neurons. Then we send these pulses to uh, muscles to contract them. We again use geometry and kinematics, basically physics, to find out the relation between this contraction, muscle contraction, and the wing flapping of the insect. Electrical engineering had such a career path where you can combine different things. If you are interested in math, you can work in math. If you are interested in chemistry, you can build uh, semiconductor devices uh, where chemistry is something really important. If you are interested in physics, you can build robots. So it gives you all uh, different choices, all these different choices to pick from and you can decide later on.